Hi, today I'm feeling real crappy physically, but um, Danny left this morning at about 4 a.m. We only have one working car right now, and I was too tired to take him at 4 a.m., so he took the truck down, or the car down to where he needs to go, and now my niece, Sierra, is gonna come pick me up to take me down to get the car, um, which is awesome of her, and then I have to get some groceries and pick up my nausea medication so that's what's happening right now you should come and ignore my disgusting kitchen we'll clean it eventually okay so I'm actually back home I forgot to, I, I was gonna film Sierra and have her say hi to you but next time I see her I'll do that I guess but look at what Danny got for me for my birthday I know I already have a white tree, but it's like old and worn down and the lights are all crappy on it. So I just wanted a, um, a new one for the season. And starting Christmas time, I'm gonna leave the tree up all year round like I used to do. Decorate for Valentine's Day, decorate for St. Patrick's Day, for Easter, for spring, for 4th of July, for summer, for fall and Christmas again. So I'm very excited about that. So I actually want to show you that. <laughs> and now I'm going to go edit. Miss Danny, I just talked to him. He is just boarding the plane to Hong Kong. Uh, they flew to Seattle earlier and then um, had to wait for a while. And now they're on a, I think it's like a, I think it's like a, like a 12 or 13 hour flight or something like that. So I feel so bad for him, but luckily he upgraded his seat to be in the What's it called? Like the very front row where there's more leg room, you know? So like the front row of coach, I mean. So I'm hoping he can just stretch his legs and s sleep as much as he can. I don't know. But anyway, I am now going to edit. So then I'm probably going to go and rest because my tummy hurts. Story of my life every day. But I do want to try to be somewhat productive today. So day um and it's not a good day <laughs> um this is kind of the stuff that like I kind of wanted to start showing you guys coming back to YouTube um because we're trying to show like a realistic not re well I, I mean I've always been realistic with you but like an accurate I guess perception of Danny's life versus my life and how we are so opposite um yet we love each other like crazy it's amazing um but yeah today I had a whole bunch of plans that I wanted to get done here's the list that I made for today here it is I wrote down the things I thought I would have energy for today and then I woke up and felt very sick um a couple of my issues are flaring up right now my fibromyalgia because it's getting colder outside is flaring up and my endometriosis is really bad. I just started my second period for this month. So um, I'm just in a lot of pain today and also just, ugh, you know, like I can't, like I'm just, I'm dizzy and I just feel nauseous and whatever. So, um, so I'm gonna try and at least get one thing on that list done. Um, and then I'm gonna go rest because I just ordered Taco Bell and so until it gets here, I think I'm going to try editing a little bit more and try and get this birthday vlog up for you today. I really, really hope I can. Um, and then I'll probably just go lay down and watch a movie and go back. And I do want to say, like, I feel terrible even, I don't know, because I know that there are so many people out there. I feel very privileged and very lucky and blessed that I'm able to rest if I need to. So many people out there, out there have jobs or kids or this really stressful situations and and I just I think about that all the time and I'm like how do they do this I couldn't do it if I had a kid if I had a job and I had to go to a job feeling like this like feeling like 
halfway to death, you know? <laughs> um, I don't know how people do it. And I just wanna say like props to you. I wish I was as strong as you. Those of you out there that struggle with physical health or mental health, um, you're rock stars and you are so much stronger than I am. And I'm just really proud of you and I'm proud to know you and just know that like I think about that and I think about you guys that do that because it's just, I know what it's like to live with so many physical and mental health issues and it's hard. Um, I've had jobs in the past and they never last too long. The longest one I had was two years and that was difficult. Um, I never got used to it, never got better. I felt sick every day. I was, I would come home crying to Danny in pain. Um, and finally it just got to a point that I couldn't work anymore at all. So that's why I started YouTube. Um, and now I can do this and I'm very grateful for that. So it does allow me. So thank you for allowing me to be able to, you know, rest and take care of myself when I need to. So anyway, so I'm going to try and go edit the rest of this birthday vlog and get up for you. And then I'll talk to you after that. Okay, it's much, much, much later. I'm about to go to bed. I just did a live stream with a private live stream with my friends. I did end up falling asleep earlier, so that was good. I got a little nap, but I'm still tired. I'm so tired. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just, I haven't been sleeping well for weeks now, like really not well at all. So, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, try and get some rest and hope that tomorrow's a better day. But you know what? I did get one thing done today. I got my vlog edited and uploaded, so that's good. Maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll just aim to do one thing instead of aiming for all of the lists. It just, you get in this place where you're like, I know I can do it, like I can feel it, and then you wake up and feel this way. And those of you out there that are chronically ill and have mental illness at the same time will understand this, how frustrating it is. They, there are things that you want desperately to do to get done but your body or your mind will not let you. It is the most frustrating thing in the world. I don't know. Yeah. So I'm going to go to bed, but please, 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 please leave comments and questions below. Anyway, it's been a rough day, but I'm about to change my nails. So I'll show these. I think they're hideous. I thought it would be a good idea, but I just don't really like it. I don't like how it looks. And from far away, it just kind of looks brown. They look brown, which works. Like it works for the season that we're in, but it's not what I expected. So I'm gonna go take these off. Good morning. Did you like that noise? They're just waking up right now too. I'm gonna, I know I'm coming, I'm coming. They're like, open the blinds. Um, It is the morning of Thursday, 26th, I think. Um, and I'm about to go do some more editing and hopefully finish uh, a video for you guys and get it up. So that's what I'm doing. But I just realized that I haven't showed you my calendar in a little bit, my eating disorder progress calendar. So for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I look great. First of all, can we just acknowledge? Thank you. Wow. Never looked better. Anyway, I don't think I've showed you guys my eating disorder progress calendar in a little bit. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to put on four more stickers because I haven't done it yet this week. I haven't put the stickers on, but you'll be able to see which days have stickers and which days don't. And then you'll see, And but I'm gonna put like four on at once, but like you'll see if it, well, I just kind of told you that it was the last, the four stickers, so. Here's my calendar. Here's my calendar. As you can see, I have not had not even one little slip up at all. So that's great news. How many, how, how long total since my last mess up? Let's see. Oh my gosh. So like two months about, 
That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm really proud of myself. I'm killing it. Friday the 27th, it's 11.30 a.m. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but anyway, I just got back from a doctor's, another doctor's appointment. I have lots of doctor's appointments because that's just how it is when you've got, um, when you deal with chronic illness, you just, you have to go to the doctor a whole lot and that's okay. There's no shame. You have to do what you gotta do. So anyway, so I'm back from the doctor. It went okay kind of had a little breakdown but it went all right and i'm gonna be okay everything's fine don't worry about anything but i just um just trying to figure out some things that aren't making sense that and like trying to figure out other ways to help me i don't know anyway um but i want to show you where is it i want to show you my list again because i accomplished some of it so i want to show it off look it look it look it look look at the look it Look, oh, I checked off three things. Aren't you proud? Look, I cleaned my kitchen. Well, it's kind of getting messy again, but you get the idea. I cleaned my kitchen, did the dishes, I edited and uploaded my birthday video, and I washed my hair. And so today, I'm gonna rest. <laughs> because I don't feel well. Anyway, um, but I also want to tell you, I've been debating if I want to share this with you or not, because it's like super duper embarrassing. It's like so, so embarrassing, but I'm going to share it because I think that there's probably somebody out there that um, has been through this or is going through this or something like that, and they don't and they might feel embarrassed about it too. All right, so here's the thing. My license expired a really long time ago, like years ago. Really embarrassing, I know. That's why Darren usually drives everywhere, and that's why um, I love that I just have like boxes of Kleenex and chapstick, because this is where I sit to like edit and cry apparently and do live streams and cry apparently. So anyway, that's what that's about. Anyway, um, so my license expired a very, 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 very long time ago um, because, and I never got a new one because depression, <laughs> anxiety, the feelings of like going and talking to official people that are intimidating and, and whatever are just like really like scary when you have really bad anxiety sometimes that can be scary um and most of the time it's like you know what danny's here he can drive me places anyway so we went to the dmv before danny left to see if we could renew it the ladies that were helping me first of all were so rude i could not believe it i couldn't even believe it i told the first lady she was like, so it's been quite a while since you renewed this. And I said, yeah, I'm sorry. I just haven't been here. And she just was like, no, it's been like a really long time. And I'm like, yeah, I know. She's like, it's a really long time. Why did you do that? And I was like, oh, you know, I just going through stuff. And, and she just like literally went and then went back to her computer. I was like, are you joking? And then she called in a manager to come help her with something and the manager laughed at me, straight up laughed at me. It was so humiliating. Um, it was actually my birthday that we went, I think is when we did it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, she laughed when I told her and it was really humiliating. And it's just like, you just never know what somebody's going through. And so it blows my mind when people act like that and like treat you like you're trash and just like embarrass you like that. Like, it's not cool. I don't know why people do that, but anyway. So anyway, um, long story short, 
I have to take the driving test again and the written test. <laughs> so, uh, I literally have to study to do a driving test and I'm 38 years old. I'm 39 years old and I have to do a driving test. I'm so dumb. I'm not dumb. I just, listen, life is hard and I have issues and they got in the way and it just was easier to not deal with it and just have Danny drive me everywhere and do all the things, but it's like, anyway, so, anyway, so that's on my agenda at some point to study for the test and to set up a driving test to go get that done. So I feel like I'm in high school again, so that's not fun. Anyway, I'm about to edit this video that you're watching right now, and then I'll come back and say goodbye and then tell you things, other things. Okay, goodbye. All right, it's a couple hours later. I'm still not quite done with the video, but feeling very tired, very nauseous. So I think I'm gonna go take a nap. So eating disorder update, you saw my calendar earlier, but I did wanna tell you one really cool thing. For those that don't know, I have gastroparesis, and which which shows itself, shows itself many different ways for different people. Um, some people it gets so bad that they like can't poop on their own at all that they have to wear like an ostomy bag with like a hole in their stomach and then there's people on you know a lesser of the scale like I am. I just don't digest on my own very well um, because of decades of eating disorders. My body isn't used to digesting or metabolizing or anything like that and so I have to use enemas and I have to use like like oxy powder which is like an, an oxygen based natural laxative type thing and I will say that it's been a couple months since my last slip up as you guys saw before I will say um, I'm not needing as much help as I did before to poop like my I think my body's starting to work again and it's very confusing for me and it's very new for me but like but like I used to have to do three or four enemas a day and now I only have to do like one or two a day because throughout the day sometimes I just go by myself and I haven't done that for years I've never I have not gone poop without an enema for years so I really think my body's like metabolizing and working again and trying to figure it out and so that's like a huge improvement and I'm really, 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 really excited about that and I'm really proud because it's not fun. It's not fun to have to do enemas every day. It's not fun to t have to take the those big horse pill oxygen thingies a day. I just want to share that because it's a small victory. Actually, it's a big victory. I just want to share that because I'm just going to share with you as my recovery goes on, things that improve, things that are harder, and this is one of the things that's improved. So I'm really proud about it. Yeah. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go take a nap, and I will see you guys soon uh, for another video. It'll probably be Danny and Paul in Bali for the next video, and then it'll be me again. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the love and support with this new channel. Please leave me questions and I will see you guys soon. So remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye.